Hey guys, so this is a, a little bit of a vlog. I'm going to talk about Ethereum miners very soon, but I just want to make a point. So I'm on, in my city of Montreal, there's a mountain. And I'm right on the edge of the mountain where I live. So I like to drive up to the top of the mountain, and there's this big parking lot here to a public park. But I come to it just to relax, take in some sun on a good day, have my coffee. It's just relaxing for me. So, I'm in this huge parking lot, huge, and it's pretty empty. I'd say about 80% empty. Dozens and dozens of spots all over the place. So I go park in an area away, well, away from the next car, which is like 10 cars over, 20 cars over, 20 cars over. But humans have this very powerful herding instinct. It's amazing to observe. I will park my car like 20 cars over alone and there's space everywhere in the parking lot. So what do I get? I get this guy come, it happens all the time. They come up and they park right beside me, right beside me. Now normally I wouldn't care but I'm, I'm coming up here to relax and to blog and, and vlog and of course the guy parks right beside me. I told my friend that I, we'd go into a mall, a parking shop mall, and again, I would park far away from everybody. And I tell my friend, I said, I bet you when we come back out, someone's going to park right beside me. And sure enough, it happens, I'd say about 80% of the time, some herder, some uh, sheepo decides he's going to park right beside me, even though there's tons of spaces far, far away. And I'm not saying like two cars, or, I mean like right here. Like there's like all the space like this, right? So we, you know, everybody can drive. No, no, right, right beside me. Sorry, it's one of my pet peeves. I, I, it's, it's amazing to observe, and I know it's just a herd instinct. You see it in the highway, on the highway as well. You drive on the highway, and uh, when you do long, you know, when you're driving on the highway, everybody tends to cluster together, right? Instead of like, you know, little, giving a little space, they all cluster together. It's amazing. And it's, it's silly because when you're driving, whatever, 100 kilometers an hour or 65 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour, and you got people, you know, not bumper to bumper, but pretty close when they don't need to be. The amount of effort you have to put mental energy to drive is, is considerably more because you gotta slow down and speed up and turn lanes because people are passing. And there's no need for that, you herders. You don't need to do that. So what I do is I, I discovered that if I, if I, uh, if if the speed limit is uh, let's say 65, everybody's going 70 or 75, whatever it is, what I will do is I will slow down to about you know 10 miles an hour slower than than the than the average per person. And what happens is that the herd will, will will come by me every so often. So I'll be alone on the highway. I'll, I'll talk about, I'm in Canada, so it's always in kilometers an hour. So everybody does like on the highway, you know, there, our speed limits are 100 kilometers an hour and everybody's doing maybe 110, 115. So then what I do, I do 100. And even though I got a, you know, I got a pretty fast car, I do 100. Why do I do 100? Because everybody is doing 115. So they all herd together. And when you do 100, you will get the herds the, the flocks of cars will herd past you every 10 minutes or so. And then you'll be alone on the highway. And what happens is your mental awareness doesn't be, have to be so, uh, you know, so raised up. So it's a lot easier to drive that way because the herders will herd. It's unbelievable. Anyway, so I was, uh, sorry for that rant. It's just one of my pet, pet peeves. I don't understand it. Well, I understand it, but it's just annoying. So uh, yeah, Ethereum mining. So a friend of mine decided to put together an Ethereum mining machine from scratch. So he built it up and he uh, bought all, I think it's 12, <laughs> 12 GPUs, 12 um, uh, graphics cards. And he rigged up this thing from scratch. He bought the motherboard, he bought the graphics cards and all the rest of it. It's just fascinating. And he's got this machine, so he put it in a shed and up here in Canada, the winters get pretty cold, but you go in a shed, even on a, on a cold day, it's like, it's very toasty warm in that shed. So he's got the Ethereum miner going, and he's uh, pumping out the Ethereum. 
I think that all these individual cryptocurrencies in of themselves are is just a giant tulip mania. There's no intrinsic value in these things. And I know the cryptocurrency guys will, will, will argue with me. And they'll give me the same arguments that the gold and the silver guys will give as well. They're all BS. Okay, I gotta let the window down because I got a, a wasp trying to get in here. All right, buddy. Anyway, so all these uh, guys, they'll give you all these reasons why they say that these coins are worth, they're not worth anything because um, they're just, there's nothing behind them until the market, you know, well, the mar what's behind them is the belief that they're worth something. And then when that belief goes away, the whole thing is going to crash. That said, this mania could go on for, for years, for years. So you know, that's why my friend decided to build a miner and he's making these coins. The ROI, the return on investment for the miners at this point is about 12 months. Uh, so if you create a dedicated miner to recover your money, on that miner, it's going to take you about 12 months of mining the uh, the Ethereum coin. I don't know what it is with Bitcoin. I imagine it's probably about 12 months as well. Anyhow, uh, two things. I think you can make money mining Ethereum, buying and sell, buying and, 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 you know, and, and gambling that the stuff will go up. It will probably go up for a little while at least because that's the nature of uh, psychological uh, of our psychology, of our speculation and uh, until something happens and so yeah you know is it a great is, is it an investment i don't consider it an investment i consider it a, a a gambling a bet if you will but uh, chances are and don't take the advice of a nerd in terms of uh, these type of speculations chances are it will continue to go up for a while so that's why my buddy of mine is investing in these things and uh into the miners rather and uh, you'll probably do well by it, you know? So, but understand that the market could drop out at any moment. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a risk. So the safe thing to do is if you decide to start mining for Ethereum, Bitcoin or Litecoin or whatever it is that you might want to mine for, um, you want to uh, pull out your profits at least 50% on a regular basis. This way, uh, you're hedging your bets. You're protecting yourself on the way up. The big mistake, the big mistake, would be to hoard all your coins, coins, uh, per perpetually, because it's not like buying stock in a solid company like Apple or something. It's it's very speculative. So if you have this uh, strategy where you you as you let's say you're producing, I don't know, ten coins a month. Sell out five every month, sell out five, keep five, sell five, keep five, sell five. Um, so you, at least you're getting back some of your investment pretty quickly. Or a smarter strategy, a safer strategy would be to produce coins until you've produced enough to uh, pay back your machine. To sell always until you get your, back money, your money back. And then you just play with the house's money, meaning then you can start... Uh, just saving up your big, your your Ethereum coins or your Bitcoins or whatnot. Anyway, I've rambled too long. Ciao.